Hello, this is Ishmael Zadi, and welcome to my Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to sort using the comparable um, interface. Um, as you can see, I have this set of data that's printed on, on the console, and we want to sort it um, according to the marks that we um, we have. So um, instead of, you know, there's 20, we just want to sort it. Um, and to do this, we're going to use the comparable interface. So uh, one functionality we can do is called collections dot sort and we want to sort the list but this wouldn't allow us because we didn't um, implement the interface um, sorry the int implement the comparable interface on our other class so let's get cracking so I'm just gonna write implements implements control space comparable and I'm gonna pass in student, okay? And it would give us an error, and obviously we need to import unimplemented methods. And what we're gonna do here is get the mark that we pass in here, which is 70, 20, etc. And we want to compare it to the other marks. So I'll just give you a simple outlook on how comparable works. Um, for example, if i is less than j, it would give us Right, it would give us it would give us minus one, and if it, i is equal to j, just give basic outlooks. Um, it will give us zero, and if i is bigger than j, it will give us one. This is how it's going to sort it. Um, obviously, not returning just numbers. Um, so what we're going to do is get the student um, marks, and we're going to get the m the marks that we pass in here. Okay, and then we're going to um, use here. It's not giving us an error anymore. It's just relying on us to um, implement the correct um, code. So what I'm going to do is get the mark. So int um, other mark equals o dot get marks. And what we want to do is we want to get um, the minimum. To, uh, we want to sort it. Um, so that we get the minimum to the maximum. So this dot uh, marks is going to get this one obviously and subtract other marks. Okay so let's see how it goes. Oh yeah obviously I didn't print it out. <laughs> SYSO so list we had a panic attack. Okay. Um, and yeah, look, it works. It's um, obviously Charlie has the maximum mark, and we can um, switch it around to get the maximum first. Or you can simply go collections dot max, okay? And it would it would rely on the comparable, and let's go S Y S O, and then say list. Um, sorry. You have to print this out. <laughs> Alrighty, it's going to take some time and just print out the minimum. Minimum. So here we got the maximum is 90 and the minimum is 20, and it gets the whole data. So you're not um, separating the data and then sorting it and you know um, doing arrays or something like that to make them interact. Um, all that stuff collection does it for you and this comparable is very very important um, a lot of uh, employers out there ask you about it um, if you know it or not because it's something that um, is used a lot and yeah so basically um, yeah that's it um, for this tutorial you basically sort according to the mark if you want to get the maximum just simply switch it around um, and yeah, uh, thanks a lot guys and stay tuned.